Well, you seen right. Today, we're gonna mess with the Germans. We really don't have a whole lot planned today, so I figured it's nice enough out that the Germans probably want to get out and they probably want to run around, and quite frankly, I'm, I'm getting sick of them. I love my Germans, I really do. They are full of energy and ready to go, let's just put it that way. You see, the goal here is to keep the ball from Jax. Jax is a lovable, very protective old man, German Shepherd. His biggest problem is he does not like to, well, bring the ball back, let alone share it with Opie. So your goal is to throw it far enough to where Opie can get it. Today, Jax has been lucky. Every time the ball lands, it's right beside him because Opie will come back and stand by me. Jax? Here's Stan Midway. He's got it figured out. Alrighty, this is the last one. You guys are foaming at the mouth, about to fall over dead. Ready? It's gonna be a long one. Way out there. Ready? Okay, Jax, you're going the way wrong way. Hold up. Hold up. Well, what should we do now? It's been kind of a boring place the past couple days and I really haven't done a whole lot. I did map out a, a very nice gravel road trip that we need to go on when I get to feeling a little better. The way I have it mapped out, it should be about 65 miles of nothing but gravel roads with maybe about two or three miles of highway travel. And it's pretty, it takes us throughout the hills and the flats, both. There you go. We got our spare, our, our tire repair scheduled. I was reading a couple of your guys' comments the other day on the video I made, and uh, everybody seems to think that you can go ahead and replace a valve stem without balancing a tire. So we're going to have the guys here at Napa, here in town, go ahead and replace that valve stem for me. You know guys, the only problem with really wanting to do anything to first class there is we've done everything. The only thing that I have not done that I could do that's free to first class, because remember, she's not earning, I'm not spending, would be to polish the rims by hand. Now I'm incredibly bored and I really don't have a whole lot going on. 
but I just find that polishing the rims by hand is a complete waste of time. I've done it three times and I've used the good wax. I've used the crappy wax. I've used the never doll. I've used the scotch braid. I've used everything and the most I can get out of them is maybe two months worth of shine. That's a lot of work for not a lot of payoff. And then before we left to go on vacation is when I completely went through first laps. We put new fuel filters on it. We greased her all up. We checked all the boxes, aired all the tires up, detailed the interior. We did all kinds of things right before we left to go on vacation. Well, when we were on vacation, remember, that's when I smacked my head. So first class is done. She's ready to go. She's ready to roll. She's actually packed up with all my clothes and everything. She is just 100% ready to hit the road. So other than the rims, maybe I could maybe throw another quick paint job on the frame. Stuff like that. That'd be about it. Which brings us to this project, which by the way, thank you for the comments on turning the hooks around. I will definitely try that. This project is something that uh, I do really want to work on. So that's why there's so many truck camping project, truck camper projects versus our normal trucking or work, even working on the truck guys. And of course I would really like to go out to the Bighorn Mountains taking dad and hopefully little bud I don't know if Warden or let him miss any school around the third or fourth week in September that's not really looking like it's probably gonna happen just because well if you don't work you can't play kind of thing but in my head I can still think it's going to happen so as for right now that's what we're gonna do today again is work on the truck camper again but the truck camper is going to get heat this time. Our tire is all fixed up and ready to go. I ended up putting a rubber valve stem in there versus the steel valve stem that was in there because of the fact of whenever you go to check your valve, check your air with a um, air pressure tester. One moment. Rhubarb. Now don't worry, I didn't just steal somebody's rhubarb. I stole some rhubarb from my sister. But every time you use the steel one, the steel one would, uh, it wouldn't flex at all. It was not pleasant to check the air. So it needed replaced anyway, so I went along and went with a rubber one. Speaking of my sister, she did get some awesome footage of something that happened here in town a couple days ago. Navy Fireman First Class Wesley Brown, March 1st, 1916 to December 7th, 1941. 
We all remembered what happened in December 7th, 1941. That was the attack on Pearl Harbor. He was on the USS Oklahoma battleship. Took on several torpedo attacks. The attack on the ship resulted in the deaths of 429 crew members, one of which was Wesley. He was awarded the Purple Heart for his bravery. The concept here is to hang the heater like so, but then in the back with these holes, just make two little holes here to hold the heater solid. That getting the heater up out of the way, never having to worry about it getting onto a blanket or getting uh, hot where it shouldn't be. No, there's not a lot of room in here once I sit here. I don't have my mattress in here yet either. But remember, it's a truck camper, yes. But it's not to spend all day in. It's a simply a place to sleep off-grid in the middle of nowhere. I've said before, I, I don't plan on going to pay campsites. I'm sure someday it will happen when I venture out a little bit further. But as for right now, my goal is to build this thing to where I can go to the off-grid kind of places. I shy away from using the word overland because I'm not going on any three-month expedition across country or anything. It's just simply a camper. A, a camper that will function in all terrain purposes versus your standard set versus your standard kind of camper if you know what I mean. Same way you did last year. We are delayed yet again. I will finish the heater project before the sun goes down I'm hoping. We are almost done with it. I was disturbed. It's homecoming week. Our nights are full here at town. Right now we have our parade and Tater Tot will be on a float. I think I got that out. See you later. Jake throw that? Yeah, Jake threw it. Jake threw that? I'll get you, Jake. Go, <laughs> oh, there's Teresa. Hey, you make a good pooper scooper. You gave me corn. You gave me corn. Is that Dylan? Hey, Dylan. Good job, buddy. Good job. Oh, Troy got me? Yeah, it's your loot. You get the corn cap. I get the corn. I guarantee he'll give me corn. We have to walk to the other end of the block. Because apparently Tater Tot was on one of the fire trucks. We were just on the wrong side.
That's my door. Well, I've had about as much excitement as I could possibly handle. I was already telling Warden before this shindig started that the head was thumping pretty good today. Everybody's on their way over to the football field now where they will have a huge pep rally. And basically the whole town is there. Except for me. I'm heading for the house and maybe work on the project a little bit or maybe just sit around. I've been filming this video since Monday and it is now Wednesday. So we're on three days of trying to come up with something to record and just kind of recording here and there. I think I'm going to go ahead and finish that heater that's bouncing around back there. But as for you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off. You guys stay safe, and as always, I'll see you next time.